What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today we're going to be going over the installation process for the Whitestone Dome Glass for your Apple Watch version 4. I'm going to walk you through all the steps, try to make it as simple as possible, and make sure that your glass is going to fit perfectly. Feel free to watch this video as many times as you need, rewind and replay the steps so you get it just right. Let's go ahead and jump right in. First, this is everything you need to get started. Whitestone gives you a two pack, so you do get two tempered glass with this, as well as a case. Also, remember to make sure that you do have a power source handy for the UV light. Now that we're ready, let's go ahead and begin. After you've detached the watch straps and turned off the watch, go ahead and take the alcohol pad and wipe the screen all the way to the edges. Then, Take the microfiber cleaning cloth and wipe it dry. Next, you're going to carefully place your watch into the bottom tray case. Now, place the absorption pad onto the frame as well. Now, place on the top tray. Match up the fixed tape part of the bottom tray with the level bar insertion part of the top tray. Press down on all four sides to make sure it's in all the way. Included in the package is a dust remover sticker. Use it now to remove any dust particles that may be on the watch face. Next, insert the level bar into the fixed tape of the bottom tray. Make sure it slides all the way in. For the next step, this is the bottle of liquid adhesive. You're going to twist the gray colored cap and hold it over the center of the watch vertically, just like this. Notice the arrows on the side showing you where the center. Also, it's vacuum sealed, so don't worry about it spilling. Hold the bottle very close to the screen, basically touching it. This way, the adhesive does not splash all over the place. Once it's in place, open up the black upper cap and allow all the liquid adhesive to pour out from the bottle onto the watch face. Wait for the liquid to finish pouring out completely. Slowly remove the bottle from the watch after about five seconds. Now, grab the dome glass screen protector. Carefully remove the liner on the back side of the tempered glass by peeling down. Then, starting from the bottom opposite the fixed tape, place the glass onto the level bar. For the next step, you push down the bottom part of the tray. Then, once the liquid adhesive touches the tempered glass, pull out the level bar and stop pushing on the bottom tray. Wait for 30 seconds as the adhesive spreads completely. Be sure not to touch the glass with any of your hands while the liquid adhesive is spreading. Next, we will cure the screen onto the device. Place the UV light over the watch and cure for 10 to 15 seconds. Now, remove the top tray case and use the whole of the bottom tray to gently separate the absorption pads and the watch. Once removed, wipe it down again with a new alcohol pad. Make sure you especially wipe along the edges, but not too hard as to get underneath the glass. Lastly, we will finish the curing process by placing the UV light back over the watch for another 40 seconds to one minute. That's it, you're good to go. Just reattach the straps and you're all set. You can enjoy the perfect touch sensitivity of flawless edge to edge tempered screen protector for your Apple Watch. Don't forget to put on the case. Whitestone includes one for you that fits perfectly. I hope this video was helpful.